ESPN Plus. Here's your tale of the tape. Matt Frivola and Ahmed Azaitar are both 32. One inch in height for Frivola. Everything else essentially is identical. Frivola, the underdog tonight against Morocco's Azaitar. Here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, an undefeated mixed martial artist holding a perfect professional record. 13 wins, no losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 and one half pounds. Fighting out of rebound, Morocco, Otman Bultoza. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A big martial artist holding a professional record. Nine wins, three losses, one draw. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Huntington, New York. Matt, the Steve Muller. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. All right, let's go. Dan Mergliata, our referee. I mean, Matt Frivola is all sorts of fired up to compete in front of his local fans tonight. Thank you to the birthday girl, Ariane Celeste. The steamroller, Matt Frivola. Right. Dad Sal right, ready, is the bulldozer ready, Frivola. Let's so go, is his opponent, Otman Bulldozer Azaitar. Frivola's in red, Azaitar is in black. And we are underway. The question is for how long? Favola's got to set that up. You can't just throw those big axes for nothing with no setup. He's got to set up these big kicks and spinning attacks if he wants to get to his Zaytar. Especially with a guy like Zaytar, who's such a good counter striker yep. and hits so hard. I'm afraid to look down at my notes when a Zaytar fights. Favola coming off a big win over Renato Valdez Soto. That was back at UFC 270 in January. He had 14 weeks to prepare for that fight. Saw Favola get a little closer there on the high kick. First couple, he's way out of range. I think he recognizes the danger in attacking a Zaytar. Pretty good left hand to punctuate that one, too, for Favola. Well, you know that wild style really cost him the Terrence McKinney fight, right? Yeah, that was crazy. Seven McKinney's seconds, eight seconds. Fantastic. And, and, and McKinney also fights that way. Very, very aggressive. McKinney has just been going off, too. He's fought He's really well, dangerous yeah. Dangerous man. Yeah, neither of these guys really have had that much octagon time over the last two years. You know his ITAR story, but for Bola's last two fights, they combined three minutes and 22 seconds. Zaytar just landed a nice right hand. Good front kick up the middle. Zaytar is certainly respecting the power coming back his way early. Zaytar looks like his timing's a little off. I mean, that would speak to that oh. two-year layoff. Looks like he's had a oh. Caught him with a good left hook there. And even when he doesn't put everything behind it, his power's on display. Look like, ooh, nice stick with the jab nice. by Frivola. Yeah, he said, what? Like, why is the fight over? And there are his teammates, May Rob Dwellis Willie and the Bantamweight champ, Al Jermaine wow. Sterling. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That was nasty. And I, we were saying that it seemed like Zaytar was, was just off. Like, yeah. his timing was off. Yep. His, his, his well, distance he, was a little off. Even in the punch. Even in the punch that landed, he was really square. He was kind of throwing from his hips. Yes. And Travola landed a nasty shot on that, put him out. So Matt Frivola 
as he embraces Ray Longo, takes Otman Azaitar's O. Billy Corantello in the corner as well, as is his fraternal twin, James. What a moment. Let's see it again here. Look, C square, man. He's right hand square. right here. Boom. Catches him in, catches him again, and there's the left hook. Wow. Lights go out. Fantastic. And he just went to his corner and asked them again what happened. Well, I mean, look how square he is right there, just throwing hands down. Azaitar's been out of the octagon for a while. Hey, look, even earlier when we saw Chung, Chung, Sung Woo Choi. Wu Choi and those guys fighting, same thing, right? There's danger in this type of fight. Anybody can land and anybody can go down. That's exactly what happened to Azaitar. It hats off to Matt Frivola for cashing in on what he said he was going to do. Right. He was going to knock this guy out in the first round. And perhaps Frivola got sick of hearing about the power pedigree of Otman Azaitar. Biggest moment in the UFC career for Matt Frivola. And perhaps fittingly, it comes here inside the hallowed walls of Madison Square Garden. All right, to make this one official, here's Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, Referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 30 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Matt the Steamroller!